Hey guys, it's Jimmy Bremner, CTOA, and Dr. The Boy, and we're out on the urban trail, and uh, my goodness, it turned into winter, uh, you know, overnight. So, uh, you know, I've got my jacket on, I've got my lined pants on, something to think about as the seasons change. Still kind of green up top, but, you know, the ground cover is starting to... Uh, turn yellow and browns and that type of thing so in terms of your you know your cam uh, you, you want to adjust to that seasonally in the winter actually you only need the uh, your snow your white snow pants when you're in the bush line because the trees still look like woodland but the, the ground cover is white once you break the tree line of course then you need your winter white top um, I usually splash some mud on it so it breaks it up a little bit. Uh, that said, behind me you can see that somebody has built a primitive shelter here. They've probably been here, oh, you know, I'm guessing kids built it, you know, probably 10, 15 years ago, maybe more. Uh, it's been here for a long time. Uh, it's actually not in a bad spot. Spot. It's covered. The, the prevailing wind has, you know, it's, uh, you know, there's some shelter here from it. A bit of a depression here. It is proximate to water. Uh, probably 200 meters to water. Um, it bad thing has some widow makers, you know, broken branches above it, so it's not the best spot. And the other issue that it has is there's really no pine or cedar that we can use to, um, you know, close it in from the elements and, and water and things like that. What there is, there's a lot of uh, dead trees here and there are uh, scraps of bark everywhere that we could put on there to break, uh, you know, make a windbreak and, and uh, protect us a bit from water, but that's why you need to have your 50 gallon drum liners and your poncho and things like that so even if you get this built uh, you can again get a little bit of protection from the water um, of course you could use the leaves in the 50 gallon drum liner to make a browse bed so you could get yourself elevated off the ground so you don't get the conduction from the cold ground into you um, but i think what i'll do is um, Give me a week, two weeks, and I'll, I'll build something called the Sutu Shelter that uses uh, your poncho, it uses uh, the painter's uh, tarp, and your mylar blanket with a fire out in front of it. And what it does is it uh, it takes the heat in through the, 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 uh, the clear painter's uh, plastic, and then the that heat is reflected back off the mylar behind you and it traps the air in there and believe it or not they can get up to 70 80 degrees inside and keep you quite warm but it's really not something that you can do in an urban trail it's more for you know a little farther north in ontario when there's not a fire ban and that type of thing so uh, give me some time and i'll work on that uh i said i was going to do some exciting announcements over the weekend and uh, a lot of things changed in the last uh, 24 48 hours so I and I know the text is backwards here but understand I do these things you know like off the top of my head and I find a topic and I talk about it and I video it with Dexter and I realize this is backwards if somebody knows how to reverse that mirror image please comment below that said we were going to travel with flashbang magazine okay this is an amazing magazine for operators it's outstanding the photography in here is amazing and uh dom uh, the gentleman that that owns this and produces it he goes all over the world with special teams and we were supposed to be embedded with IDF uh, soft at the end of the month. And if you've been watching the news, 
over the last 48 hours. This is, there's been an unprecedented attack on Israel by Hamas, and as of this morning, Hezbollah. Uh, there are no commercial flights going into Israel currently. Uh, this is a big one. There's a lot of carnage. I don't think it's something that can be cleared up, you know, five, seven, ten days. And uh, that said, it looks like our trip will be cancelled at this point. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to say. We have to do something about the total chaos in this world. You know, there's got to be one. And uh, my heart goes out to all the victims and their families in Israel. Like I said, this is an, 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 like at a scale that has been not seen in a long, long time. And. Uh, it's going to take a significant effort to uh, to repel this attack and you know bring it to stabilize the region. So, um, like I said, we'll we'll try and set up a you know a, a trip with Dom um, when it's appropriate, maybe back to Israel. But we'll try and see if we can get in with GIGN or, uh, you know, the GEC, something like that, and do, uh, you know, I, I, you know, do some training and operations with them, and uh, you know, get that photography and get it in the new edition of the magazine. So. Where, like I said, I, we, I, I've been playing in this for over a year, probably a year and a half, and uh, it is what it is, right? So, like, it, I really have no words. I'm doing my best right now. Wherever you go, or be alert, keep your head up, keep your eyes, you know, open all the time. Listen, watch the movement of people. Watch, okay, and uh, be safe wherever you travel because it's not like the old days where you could travel and everything's good. It doesn't matter what country you're in now, you have to be aware of these types of situations unfolding at any time, right? So, uh, that's me and Dexter the boy, he's just over here. We talked about primitive shelters, I will build the uh, super shelter for you. Um, I've got a lot going on right now, so uh, I'll try and get some videos out to you over the next couple of weeks, but I'm, I'm going to be quite busy. So that said, thanks for watching all the time. Please uh, send me any advice on the mirror image in the comments. Uh, I need all the help I can get. So it's uh, Jimmy Bremner, Urban Trail, me and Dexter, over there, float around as usual. There he is. Um, we're out. Be safe.